So, when we left off last time, do you remember what the last thing was that happened? Last thing, let's see. Camus came online. Yes, yeah, so we did the, the mystery meat package delivery. Uh, um, yeah. So let's see where we turn up now. Oh, that's right. She got the mission. It seemed a little shady. Mm. But she had to go down to the marrow. You know, I haven't right? actually... Um, okay. That's right, yeah. I haven't okay. told anyone <laughs> that we're streaming again. Do you want to post a little thing and I'll, I'll quickly retweet it or Facebook oh, share sure. it as well? Oops. <laughs> Professional streamers right here, right? I know. We're so, we're so on the ball. <laughs> All right. Ugh. I'm not fast. Okay, let's see. We are not in a rush. <laughs> Except with this package. <laughs> and a little collectible here. Alright, punch card. Let's see. So again, I know that Andrea, you're supposed to be telling me where to go, but I'm just going going off script again and running over here to get this collectible because I can't help myself. <laughs> That's fine. But you wanted to see the memory chip anyway, didn't you? Yes, I did. <laughs> there's much I love more. I how all the buildings are different. Yeah, there's, there's know, a lot of different feel to the different thing. districts, isn't there? Yeah. Here we go. Copy this. destination and no one is here. Control. Camus, are you awake? Yes, I am awake. Excited. Want to help. Can you scan Aww. the area? Local scan. Look for ID chips on possible delivery containers. I don't know how. Wait. I know how. I think. What is box? A box is a square cube. No. What is that box? It's right there. Okay, I see it. I guess that's the package then. Why is no one here? I have bad feelings. Me too, Camus. Do you have bad feelings, Andrea? I do. <laughs> it looks spooky around here. Well, it's but... like, you can tell it's a little dingier. Yeah. You know, it's not as bright, not as many lights, not as many advertisements. We're picking up a mysterious box. We don't know what's inside. There's a lot more of this ambient dialogue now than, than an earlier version that I played, which I think adds a lot to the, the atmosphere for the game. Mm -hmm. These weird kind of ads that play in the background. Yeah. A lot, a lot of kind of reverb on the sound effects for them as well, which is cool. feelings. One second, Camus. Control, come in. Control, this is driver 14 FC. Come in. This is important. Driver 14 FC, this is Control. Please deliver your current package with urgency. Control, why is this package ticking? Control, what's happening there? Uh, nothing. I've been informed that you're to stop calling us about the package. Deliver it quickly. That is all. Please, no more communication until delivery. Camus, I don't know what to do. I am nervous. Why? I am nervous because you are nervous. Maybe we can throw away the TikTok. TikTok, 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 TikTok. Maybe I could dump it at the trash chute in Section 8B. 
That sends it into the refuse collection at the base of the city. Nothing ever comes back from there. Will Mr. Ooh. Control be mad? Yes, but I get a bad feeling too, Camus. I think it will be bad either way. I want to help, but don't know what to do. I know, Camus. I know. I just have to make a call on this one. So, so I'm going to leave this choice up to you. I guess this is one of the most kind of simplified ideas um, or simplified iterations of this idea of what are you going to choose, you know. So this is the first choice that you have in the game, really. And it's mm -hmm. quite a straightforward, do you, sus do you deliver the suspicious ticking package or, or do you dump it? Um, so what, what are your thoughts on this? Let's deliver it. Yeah, I, I love how it's you just went straight night. to it. Yeah. It's my first night on the job. I don't want to get fired. <laughs> Let's just do it. So I've got two points in the map here. And as I said, this was really like, the idea here was, Let's do the simplest possible choice to open up this idea of choice when it comes to, you know, working for Cloudpunk. Just, sure. are you going to do it or not? Um, so yes, so we're going to do it. We're sticking to the rules, doing what Mr. Control says, delivering the package. It sounds like Mr. Control has a lot going on he, in the background there. He, yeah, yeah, there's kind of a hint of that, wasn't there? Mm-hmm. I guess it was nothing. We did our job, Camus. We shouldn't ask so many questions. I am not sure. You want to say something? If it is okay? Sure. Is this a job good? It pays good. Are we doing good things? No more questions, please, Camus. Okay. So Andrea, are you alright if we do a little wander on foot here? I saw a, a character's name in the distance that I kind of wanted to, to yeah. meet. So, what's it been like um, seeing kind of all the voice actors that performed in the game chat about Cloudpunk today then? Oh yeah, I mean everyone's starting to kind of post their involvement in the game, mm -hmm. which is great. Now I get to track everybody down and make them be friends Driver with me. Yes. This is control. No, it's just, it's it's cool because you just see everybody pop up no, starting to talk nothing. about like having a part of the game and, right. and it's just, well, it's cool. I'm just glad it went okay. For your next delivery, oh, please proceed yeah, yeah. to the following <laughs> next point to collect a package a at one. Life Corp Industries. You'll need to find a way up to the roof of the building. Our client didn't leave us an access code, but, um, well, you're a smart kid. You'll think of something. Control out. So you can kind of hear there already. Yeah. Control some. Um, he's quite fond of uh, Rani, uh, I think, from from early on. You know, he's like giving mm -hmm. her little compliments. Um, but yeah, we were talking about all the different voice actors. So I guess um, some of them must be wondering what is this game all about? Because if you only see your one part, um, yeah, it must be very strange. You, you've got a much fuller picture of the story than than anyone else, I guess. Um, sure. I mean, because I saw the whole script yeah. when I would do my lines, but there are probably a good number who just sort of got their scene and just a brief description of what the game was kind of about and mm -hmm. they just sort of, you know, do their recording and send it off, but uh, um, without really knowing too much yeah. about uh, like what's going to happen with, with the whole game. But I mean, voice actors don't get to meet each other or really work together yeah that way very often so it's it's cool to be able to connect with people once something like this finally comes out because it's a it can be a solitary kind of job same same with know? writing um so let's chat with molly yeah. I've, I've i've never heard molly, molly's um performance i missed her in my last playthrough so this should be interesting okay. she's a she's a interesting character too are you Kelson? um no sorry Please do not be shy. We talked about this in the chat room. We cannot begin until you confirm your identity. We agreed on Kelson for you. I am Molly. I'm not Kelson. My name is Rania. Oh, I see. I am sorry too. Damn it, I cannot take any more of these time wasters. I hate to be made to wait. 
Even worse when it is in the rain. Molly's having a bad day. At least your clothes yeah. are kind of waterproof. They're made <laughs> of... Latex. Yes. And I suppose mm. that is a small mercy. How do you survive this weather? You're soaked. I'm a delivery driver, so I'm mostly in my hava. Yes, of course. You like your work? I'm still deciding. You? <laughs> it is honest work. I make people happy. They're two very different characters Are meeting you? here. <laughs> but I like As how they, worker, they yes, get on okay, you know. Matrix. Yeah. My mother said one day I would find something I was good at. This is it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have something else to say. Spit it out then. I have nothing else to do, it would seem. I know you are curious. Does it feel bad hurting people? Even if they want it? No, not at all. I am helping them. You really believe that? I know it. They thank me, with words, and with huge handfuls of money. <laughs> Has it ever gone wrong with a client? <laughs> no. Seriously? You've never hurt someone more than they wanted? It's all done with augments now. If I crack a whip, it's just for show. Ropes and chains are ornamentals. The augments bind them, hold them down, cause them pain. That way, no one is ever hurt worse than they want to be. Technology. I guess that's better. <laughs> it is. Well, Molly, I hope you get another client soon and get out of the rain. I shall. Business is good. Run along and get yourself dried off. We all wear a uniform to work, whether we think we do or not. No need for it to be waterlogged. So um, we have a, okay. a little hello. So we have a um, evil bruise joined us in the chat. So thanks for coming to, hey. to see our stream again. So um, that's quite a weird little interaction, but I, I wanted to do a couple of things, I guess. Show that, you know, in the future, there's still going to be sex workers and it's still going to be a, a tough, you know, a tough gig it's going to be difficult um and kind of different but also exactly the same and i also like this yeah. idea of rania being kind of like interested in, in someone who's got such a different role in society than she has and show that they're not very different you know um mm -hmm. she has to meet a lot of people that are kind of difficult to get on with and she's kind of rolling her eyes a lot so it's nice for her to meet someone who's kind of clever and kind of witty and mm -hmm. you know talks to her that they're on much the same level I feel in this conversation um, the the voice actress our voice actor who did um, Molly did a great job there as well so that was great oh yeah yeah she's exactly as sultry yeah as yeah. I kind of uh, expected her to be yeah, she did a great job. So we're dropping off here. Um, hmm, I feel like we ran past Teko last time. But he's a bit... Yeah. <laughs> I like Teko, but he's just not the right mood for right now, so I'm going to run past him, and instead I'm going to continue with the main kind of storyline. Um, okay. Let's talk to Julie Navargo looks here. familiar. Do you need some stems? What should we buy? Uh, <laughs> let's buy the stimulants. Thanks. We'll save them if we need them for later. Then. See um, you again. Soon. I think we're so we're on the ground level here, right? And control said we had to get upstairs, so we'll chat to this Life Corp employee guy. I'm here to collect. Sign here, please. You'll find the package on the roof through the hotel entry to your right. The access code is B965E. <laughs> and don't talk to the package. Don't what? You'll see what I mean. It won't shut up. <laughs> it's going to Avalon Heights. They're expecting you. FC, this is control. Uh, just 
checking that you made that delivery? I'm on it. Checking up on me? No, we're just... Uh, what was that? I don't know, driver. The city AI acting up again? Relocating a district, maybe? No, this felt like an explosion. I think yeah. we kind of missed that as we went from one environment to another. There was a bit of a yeah. accident there. Um, Control, was it at the Metro Hub? No, well, it was in that district, but it was in the bay. In the delivery bay? Yes. Uh -oh. Control, did I just... Definitely your I'm fault, really Andrea. Definitely your fault. What? I I did try to stop you. <laughs> Your delivery yeah, was well. unrelated to the explosion. He says right. it's unrelated, so it's, it's fine. Mm. It's going to be fine. I'm going to buy that. FC, sure. <laughs> and a bonus, so you know, now. it's totally fine. <laughs> Why am I being given more money? Control? Um, driver 14FC, we are not authorized to discuss previous <laughs> jobs. Uh, that's in the rules. I <laughs> thought they were guidelines, not rules. Please complete your outstanding contract at Life Corp Industries. Control out. Control? Mm. Yeah. Control. Camus, are you on calm? What happened? I am nervous. That was a big boom. My windows got shaky. Did we do Third that? I'm no. Out. We didn't do anything wrong. Okay. So I guess this is one of the tricky things you had to, to do when you're voicing Rania. She lies a lot, you know, like she's li like everyone does, you know, we don't realize how much yeah. we do that in everyday life to save people's um, feelings, to make them feel better, you know, we tell them that the cake that they baked was delicious, <laughs> that, that their puppy's cute, <laughs> we don't always mean it. Um, so yeah, so, so that must be tricky as well, because you know, there's a lot of subtext um, when she's saying we didn't do anything wrong. So how do you handle that when you're doing those lines? Well, there were times when it, there are some lines that are just pretty straightforward, mm -hmm. like copy that control or, you know, simple lines. But there are other ones where it was important that I knew how the other actor was interpreting that line. Like, are they mad? Are they upset? Because I want my reaction to match that intensity. Yeah. So um, Marco sometimes would send me the lines that another actor had already done so that I could kind of get a feel for um, how I should match so that the conversation makes sense <clears throat> and our reactions are the same because we don't hear each other yeah. when we're recording it. We kind of just have to hope we're matching. But in those cases, when he was able to send me those lines, that was a huge help. Yeah, I guess it's like in a script. I haven't did an awful lot of script writing beyond for, for games. Did a little bit. But you know, you have the parts in brackets, like, you know, someone whispers or, you know, that, that kind of, I don't think it's called stage direction, but it's, that's how I think of it, you know, when you're telling someone, they're not just saying this line, you need to deliver it in a specific way. I should be talking sure. to this man, should oh wait, no. What should I be doing? Picking up the box. <laughs> yeah, I lost, oh, yeah. lost focus for a second there. Oh, hello. <laughs> this guy. I love um I love how he says hello and Rania just completely blanks him, says nothing. And and I think whenever people have seen that line, they've been kinda shocked, like, what? Because it just stops and and she doesn't acknowledge him at all, it just kinda continues. Um Yeah. She's not supposed to talk to the box. Exactly, yeah, she's she's yeah. following the rules. Any easy collectibles I'm running past I'm gonna pick up on the way. Um Okay. Yeah. Do you want us to talk to Teco or should we just run straight past them again? Um, I feel bad for Teco. Let's chat with Teco. Poor Teco. Excuse me, miss. Have you seen her? Seen who? Nari. I'm sorry, I don't know who that is. Are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. I can't find her. I mean, do you have somewhere to stay? I know a shelter nearby. Why would I need a shelter? Well, your clothes are rags, and it looks like your exterior dermis is breaking down. Particle. I can see some of your uh, endoskeleton. No, I can't go to a shelter. Nari wouldn't think to look for me there. 
Who is Nari? She is gone, and when she left, she took all my happiness with her. Can't you call her? She does not answer. Maybe she doesn't want to talk to you. That can't be true. Sounds like she's Protector. giving you a pretty clear message. What was the last thing she said to you? That she would love me forever. Oh, I'm um, sorry. <laughs> there have been a lot of accidents in the city. I'm not saying she was in one, but just, you know, it can be hard to keep in touch with people. I have to say, this city is... Too fast. It moves too fast. Yeah. Do you have any leads? She had no money. She wouldn't last long here then. Maybe the Marrow? I will try there next. Well, good luck. What's your name again? Taiko. If you see Nari, tell her Taiko is looking for her. I will. You know, whenever we talk to another character, I remember scenes that I had forgotten take place. Like, this yeah. game is just huge. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot to it. There's a lot of kind of crisscrossing yeah. storylines. Uh, that's you volume. Me? I can hear you, Box. How are you today? Camus, we're not supposed to talk to the Box. I'm not supposed to talk to the Box. I completely understand. Are you an android too, Camus? Fine. You can answer him, Camus. I am an automata. I am a dog. Or a car. <laughs> I am a dog car. Yeah. How strange. Hey, fella. You are a box. You know, people um, people really love Camus already. I just have to... I know! To stop. I, I, I was hopeful. You know, you write that character. It's hard to write someone mm -hmm. lovable. So you just make him a kind of loyal idiot, <laughs> and then you slowly make him smarter as the game goes on. And he says, "What, what is it they say about Homer? He says what everyone's thinking. That you know, Homer Simpson. Uh -huh. I think Camus is a bit of that." I am in a box. My name is William. William. What are you if you're not a box? I told you, I am William. But what are you? I was a sous chef in Little China, but not anymore. I'm moving up in the world. In a way, that makes me sad, too. How come? Because I won't be able to talk to little people like you anymore. That will be a shame. But it will all be worth it. Avalon Heights. I can't wait. What will you do up there? I don't know yet. It's exciting. Maybe I'll be working as a personal assistant to some pop star. Or maybe even a CEO. Perhaps I'll be an executive at one of those big corps. Hiring and firing. I would love to fire I would love to fire a human one day. <laughs> um, yeah. What do you think of William? William, you know... Did he grow on you? <laughs> <laughs> just... One day. I, no, no I, I don't want to give away too much. <laughs> And we'd sing him again yeah. later, and I'm just like, ah! Actually, <laughs> oh, yeah, good point. I love to hear about like, poor people. He loves to hear about poor people. You won't be invited, oh. of course, but I would talk about you. Thanks, and I've only been a driver for a little while. I was a musician. Oh, I just pressed this button by mistake and remembered that there's a map now. I'm so happy with this. So this is a brand new feature. Oh, oh nice. So yeah. Oh, that's helpful. Yeah, especially seeing as I'm trying to get all the collectibles and meet every character in this run. So, Rania lost her home and we were evicted, Box. I mean, William. 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 Why? Dead corpse. Oh yes, they can be very unpleasant, I have heard. She had to sell my body for money too. A circumstance that sounds good. with which I am <laughs> I sold my body also. You see, a chef's I love this, body this is view worth of the a lot these days. My body was the only part of me worth anything. Now I'm just a head and a dream. 
Can we open the box to see him? <laughs> I want to see the head. <laughs> I want to see no, the head. Of course he does. See, everyone's thinking that. Everyone wants to see the head. head. <laughs> What's sad. in the box? <laughs> You'll get over it. It's when it's Paltrow said. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. Don't worry. <laughs> One day you will have a lovely body like mine. What will your new body be like? Oh, I'm sure it will be something good. I traded my old body, my apartment, and all my savings for this place in the Spire. Surely they have the best Android frames there, too. I guess we're waiting for an elevator. I guess I wanted to go back to one part there that I um, kind of remember from the interaction with, with Rania and Teko. Rania kind of hears Teko's story and she doesn't instantly side with him, you know, like she hears about how he has this enduring, undying love for um, for Nari. And she's, yeah. she's a bit suspect. She's like, did Nari feel the same about you, you know? Yeah, it sounds um, like she escaped him because he's yeah nuts. <laughs> so she's she's not defaulting to like believing the guy and mm -hmm. his feelings. She's she's very aware that there's two parts to all these stories. Um, have I gone the right way? Yes, I have. So over this way. <laughs> and you get a lot more about his story too. Yeah. Later on. Someone was asking me on Discord earlier if the rain ever stops, and I had to say, well, you know, I live in Scotland, <laughs> so, they, <laughs> so they say, write what you know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Plus, you can't, you can't have cyberpunk without, you know, rain. It's a big part of the, the atmosphere. I think, like, see these parts when you're running and the camera's panning across, you see the trains in the distance and the rain and. Harry, um, Harry's soundtrack, so Harry Critchley did the soundtrack. The music's just really chilled. I just love this. I just kind of want this walkway to go forever and have it as a screensaver. <laughs> yeah, it's like a constant barrage of advertisements. Yeah, yeah. And that, that um, reverb just... Oh, did you see something going wrong in the background there? I think the big sign just glitched out. So there's a lot more of these environmental effects that the level designers have added to show how precarious the whole city is because it's, it's kind of falling apart, isn't it? Mm hmm Should we try taking the stimulants? I haven't actually done that. Should we save it for later? Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Save it maybe? Yeah, let's save it. We could um we could say that we'll take the stimulants at the start of episode three, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. What do you think Reginald's gonna sound like? <laughs> So Reginald's kind of, um, I don't know, what did your name, what does his name make you think he's going to sound like? Um, very, very posh, probably, Reginald. So. Reginald. Um, so let's hear. Hello, we have a delivery. His name is William. <laughs> I'm the supervisor for this shift. There we go. Domestic oh, yeah. Android supervisor. Perfect. Reginald Esquire Buckley. That voice is... <laughs> Smooth, it's like so good. high quality oh, coffee first thing in the morning, isn't it? It's really yes, good. Yes, I could just listen to him talk all day long. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. You're a vacuum cleaner? <laughs> <laughs> no. I am a refuse disposal officer with cleaning functions. The Love senior it. refuse disposal officer. And this is our new recruit. William, your head will be mounted on a Digit Lux cleaning unit 3000. 
and you will be working on the 3,287th floor of Avalon Heights as the junior apprentice unit. Sorry, William. Sorry, for what? I am to be the junior apprentice. Please pass me over to Mr. Buckley. I am keen to get to work. And you do understand that we can no longer be <laughs> friends, right? I like you and your pet human. Stabbed in the back. But it just wouldn't be the done thing to be seen with you. Oh, I understand. I am happy for you. Goodbye, William. I like this because I don't know about you, Andrea. I don't think Camus is happy for him at all. <laughs> <laughs> I think Camus is kind of trying to uh, slowly figure out how to deal with people in the same way as, as Rania is. We shall see William again. Mm-hmm. Do you miss William? I do not. <laughs> okay. Me neither. Well, we took William to his new home. I think we should go and check on ours. We have a home. Is it big? Does it have a garden? Do I have my own room? Sorry, Camus. It's not really a home. It's just a place where we can stay for a while. And it's all I can afford on a cloud punk salary. No pool, no butler. I'm not even sure we have running water. Maybe we can go somewhere nicer if cloud punk pays us lots. Camus, life is going to be hard here in Novalis. You need to prepare yourself. I'm just gonna have a look at the map. Even this place might be too expensive. I think we'll just we keep can't going afford just now. to mess up. Yeah. Got it? One bad night and we could be evicted. I understand. So don't get excited about this new place. It's not much. Okay, okay, I understand. I am still excited. <laughs> <laughs> One detail, you know, lots of the world building was based on maybe ideas that me and Marco would have about talking about the city. But yeah. something that's completely just from him and the level designers is the guys that go up and down on the lifts. Yeah. <laughs> I love that they're just manually controlled and sometimes you see their dialogue and they just say something like, up, down, up, down, it never ends. <laughs> <laughs> and the poor guy, he goes into the ground when it comes downstairs as well. It's really... A lot of people not having a good time in, in Nevada, straight up not having a good time. <laughs> yeah. Just surviving. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting lost again. Uh, no, I'm going the right way. I think. So did you get a chance to play many games, Andrea? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> My well. kids do. Yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, they're excited to play this one for sure. Oh I'll wow, say. cool. I was gonna suggest that it's just straight up, you know, for them, Fortnite and Minecraft and... I they don't know. play a lot of Minecraft. Yeah. They just got a switch. Oh, fantastic! For Christmas, so I'm very excited about this coming out in a switch. Like for for anyone who loves games, the idea of a game coming out in a Nintendo console, especially like a 40 year old geek like me, to, to mm -hmm. think that this is coming out in a Nintendo console is I don't know. There's something a bit special about it, you know? Oh yeah. I don't know if there'd be any like voice acting roles for Nintendo games that would be major draws because there's not such an emphasis on voice acting, you know. And and Mario, Mario just kind of says, "It's a me, let's a go." Mario. Yeah, it's <laughs> Mario. And uh, you know, even Link from Zelda's just like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." <laughs> I think that's all he says. Yeah. Um, and then there's a lot of kind of princesses that get saved a lot, which probably isn't a very satisfying role to play either. 
if you've been playing kind of badass streetwise Rania. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, just sighs and gasps and things like that. Like, ah! Yeah. Ah! And, and I had to actually do a bunch of those. Oh, uh, really? Like oh, yeah. Uh, they had me go back and just do Ooh. reaction sounds or, uh oh, or short little phrases. I like some of them. I like the ones when you're buying things where you're just kind of like, ah, or hmm, nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so we are in in our neighbourhood. So this is roughly where we live. So um, this okay. is this is called Neo Dotonburi. Um, so at the very start of developing um, Cloudpunk, I was chatting with Marco a lot, and mm-hmm. we were kind of setting out the world and what it would be like, what the future, or don't know. If, Cloudpunk's necessarily in the future, but what, what the world was going to be like, and I was going on holiday at the time, so I was going on my honeymoon to Japan, um, and Marco is, is often just kind of all business, he's amazing, but you know, he was very like, what can you get out of this, he's like, this will be very good inspiration for you for writing this story, um, and he was right though, like, I've never been so happy in a place as I was in Japan, I was just, I'd wanted to go my whole life. Um, yeah. And yeah, I I had an amazing time. I don't know. Have you travelled to, to anywhere in that part of the world? No, I haven't. But I would love to go to Tokyo for sure. Tokyo, it's, man, it's it's, it's on my list. Amazing. So Dalton Buri is kind of named after a district in Osaka, um, which I especially loved, and, and is an especially kind of cyberpunk area. Camus, uh-huh. can you read me? I'm in the apartment. Cyberpunk looking area, to I guess. The systems in here. I am here. It is amazing. There's a table and a balcony, and the roof perfectly fits on top of the walls. That's what you're looking yeah, for. Yeah, it's all right, I guess. Yeah. In an but apartment. <laughs> I'd love to be able to decorate, you know, make it less clinical. Do you remember the birds we had back home? Yes, they landed on the window ledge. I could never catch them. Yeah, not much chance of wildlife here. There are rats. I detect almost 50 within the property. Mm. <clears throat> Do me a favor, Camus. Never mention rats again. Okay. There are also a number of rare breeds of sump spider. Ugh, mm. also not good. Come on, we should get back to work. If I get a bonus tonight, maybe I can buy a picture. Or a mirror. Or something. What do you think of the apartment? You know, it's not too bad. It's not, right? <laughs> I, I kind of love it. Driver 14 FC, this is Control. Come in. We need you to deliver a package to the Sin Wave Want to see something club. cool? Yeah. You're going to have to deliver uh. in person to the rooftop. That's where you can access the VIP area. Nice. So I just <laughs> go to the door and... <laughs> not going to lie to you, kid. This one is going to be tricky, but I think you can do it. The club's picky about who gets in. Have you heard of Lomo? No. He's the owner of the club. And most of this sector, too. He's got a piece of every business in the undertown. And he didn't get them by asking nicely. Be careful about him. I will. Are they expecting me? Sure. I'm just letting you know you might come up against some resistance. These are powerful people, so watch what you say. Powerful people? Let's just say they're very private clients who have reason to suspect any strangers might be undercover corpsec. You'll have to convince them otherwise. Understood. And 14 FC? Yeah? This has been a tough night for the company. We're understaffed and overworked, and we keep losing contact with drivers. There's something in the air tonight. Be careful. And if you do a good job on this delivery, all past infractions are forgiven. Understood? Understood. There we go. So, um, okay. the apartment, I kind of, I love this idea. And whenever Marco and the team 
we're able to add this in, it added so much to the game. It gives you this kind of breathing space. I like the music here. It is kind of nice though, isn't it? It is. Like so you can buy stuff and decorate. Yeah, she was talking about how it's very small and stuff. Um, yeah. I don't know. Everyone in the in, in, in your place in America seems to have giant apartments. I guess unless they live <laughs> in New York or something, right? Every Everyone here in the UK has tiny, <laughs> tiny little houses uh -huh. in comparison. Um, but this seems pretty roomy, you know, this isn't too bad. I guess we wanted to make it, even though the, the story is kind of talking about how Rani is not exactly at the top of society, you know, she's kind of struggling, mm -hmm. still wanted to have a cool place for the player. Um, so tell me what we should we, sh we should go for here. Um, oh man, I would love a piece, pizza subscription. I mean, obviously, it's That's just cool. essential. She needs a fridge, oh, right? We could go for a fridge, yeah. Old pizza, ice cream, like kombucha. Yeah, is this the kind of things that you might have in your fridge right now? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Let's see. Water. Y yes, yes. I, I have no kombucha, sadly. So. No. Sweet. So I guess these are the little sound clips that we were talking about, right? Yeah. Let's um, let's buy a lamp, and we'll see what your your response was to that. Oh, nice. <laughs> I love yeah, it so right I'll here. Just be in my I'll just be in my recording booth and just be going, hmm, uh-huh, <laughs> yes, awesome. <laughs> I don't know if that sounds like fun or you just go completely insane after a while. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait, did I say that? Did I say, oh, cool, already? Did I say it 25 times? What if I say it like this? Oh, cool. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Um, I'm going to leave Evelyn cool. for the moment and come back to her later as well. If that's okay with you. Maybe we'll uh, we'll get to Lomo during this play session. That would be interesting for for a yeah. lot of the, the audience, I think. When the stakes kind of get raised a bit, meeting some mm -hmm. dodgy Navalis characters. writer as well, Andrea, right? Well, I have written. That, that <laughs> makes you a writer. A writer. No, that's, I that's... have a, an unfinished, halfway done book that I've been working on for a very long time. Awesome. Uh, someday, what? one of these days. Well, it's one of the things, I, I do some kind of workshops with younger writers and I always tell them you're a if you've written something, if you're writing, if you're thinking about writing, you're a writer, you know. It's a yeah. It's a verb, isn't it? Like, it doesn't matter if you've got millions of pounds in the bank from your lucrative publishing contracts or, you know, a short story in print or, you know, a manuscript in a drawer that you're going to finish one day. I think if you're writing stuff, you're a writer. Um, well, I think people tend to put barriers to entry on themselves totally. too like you think well i can't call myself a writer unless someone has paid me yeah to write which is so or silly has... isn't it because we don't we don't yeah. think about ourselves purely in that like <clears throat> does the economy put a value on me for other things you know yeah would you ever write um some some cyberpunk sci-fi this kind of thing, or is this just not your your genre? Oh no, I this is definitely uh, my speed. The thing that I'm working on, that I've been working on forever, um, is it's a world where superheroes exist, um, and it's a girl in a small town who wants she just can't find a job. And she decides she's going to make herself a superhero. Package, but will Lomo think but her town doesn't have any villains in it ah. to fight. So she sort of has to prove herself as a superhero by manufacturing all of these crimes that she has to thwart. <laughs> she has with to the make help up of friends. And we don't look <laughs> like undercover corpse sec. That's very cool. What would undercover corpse sec look like, Camus? I guess maybe like us. We have to act natural. 
Take a shortcut through the city this time. Um, see some sights on the way. Not suspicious. We Drive through this burger. I love that burger. Yeah, so much. I love the burger. You know what else doesn't help? Talking too much. <laughs> <laughs> You're learning fast, Camus. I like that Camus is sort of like a a conscience a little bit. Yeah, there's a bit of Ed and Eagle going on with him. I think mm -hmm. you know. A lot of the time, Rani is a bit more um, guarded, so he would really hit the nail on the head with what she was thinking. He'd just say it, mm -hmm. and she'd, she'd really be a bit uncomfortable with that. Yeah. So you're writing about superheroes, like, what's the best superhero yeah. movie? The the best realization of like the superhero genre in film or game, yeah, if you man. prefer. Oh, it's so hard. With you know all the Marvel movies that just mm -hmm. came out, like I feel like it's I'm like overwhelmed by those movies. It's like we're kind of spoiled. So yeah, I mean, what was it before then? Like a million Batman's, mm -hmm. a million Spider Man's, and, and like and then Christopher Reeve, who was like amazing. Yeah, it's your Superman, story so. reminds me a little bit of like. Um, Almost like deconstructions of superhero movies, like uh, Kick-Ass or Super or something like that, you know? It's supposed to be sort of like this, she thinks that it's going to be this, um, like, amazing lifestyle, but she mm -hmm. finds out that it's just as mundane and full of paperwork and red tape as any other job yeah. that she's tried and failed at. It's kind of like... Until um, the stakes get higher. Yeah, yeah, well, well that, that always has to happen. I guess it's kind of like um, Rania and Molly meeting at the start of our stream there. 